Is this where the cell warrior starts? Go take a nap. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Seriously, go take a nap. Oh, he's got that liquid courage going on there. We'll just let him uh, sober up there for a few hours. And when he wants to cooperate, we'll pull him on out and get him through the bus. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been with Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office about 12 years now. I am currently an intake supervisor here at Orient Road Jail uh, in the booking area. The female officer can work a male housing area as well as a female housing area and we expect to be treated with respect not only by our peers but by the inmates as well. Tell me what to do, I'll do it. Alright, go on in and have a seat. I don't know what a seat is. They gotta show me everything. Conduct. I would have never guessed. Here, you know? no right there. I'm arrested unjustly. What's the end for? Disorderly conduct. I was drinking at the bar. I did nothing out the way. Folks had a problem with me. I cooperated with the police the whole time. Okay, so, look, speak to the nurse. Miss Talk, can yes, ma'am. Whatever y'all want me to do, okay, I'm cooperative. Come on, let's stand up then. This guy is touching me. You know stand what I'm saying? Up. Yeah. All right. yeah. And you're going to blow into the machine, and we're all going to make nice. Listen, I'm wrongly okay, arrested. Look at me and change like a yes, monkey, I'm, man. Uh, I'm cooperative. OK, listen, okay. I'm talking you about it. Hey, look, how many people I'm going to talk to? Two, four? I'm talking to her. Stuck the out. OK, what's your name going to do? I would like you to step into this room. OK. All right, let's go. Well, won't you get your hands off me? Somebody's going to pay for this. I am sitting down in this chair. Hey, what's his name? I want his badge number. Sit down in the chair. And the police, man. Who says I got to blow? Where the commissioner? Where the judge? I, I would like it. for you to do she it. She wants yeah. you to do yeah, it. Yeah, she wants me to do a lot of stuff. He does too. Who this says? This is for medical. Okay. This, this is for medical. Okay. This, this is for medical. This is. I need Listen. you to close your eyes for me. No, 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 man. Y'all treat me like a live rat. Right? Yeah. You got to do this. Okay. All right. Now pay attention. Dude. This process is to make sure. See, you're, you're not looking at me. You're not focusing. You're looking at him. Listen. Just talking to you. I'm not looking at nobody. Just speak. Okay, that's fine. Listen, we just need to make sure that you're medically okay to I be in this chair. I am medically jail. fine. I shouldn't I be just, in this chair. I, no further I, is going on. That's it. You're here. Nice try. Yep. Fine. I've done nothing wrong. I have no problem. You know this. Go to the right. This is a miscarriage. Of, it's a miscarriage of justice. He refused to blow on the breathalyzer. So because we don't know what his um, intoxication level is, we can't release him until for, for a full eight hours. So he can't even bond out. Go to your stomach. Whatever y'all say I'll do, but forget the tricks, you know. I'm not doing it. I don't know what his deal is. He won't answer anything. He doesn't know when to hush. I don't even know if he's shown. He rammed his head. Lay down, face down on the floor. Hands behind your back. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Y'all arresting me unjustly. Give me a phone call. I gotta work tomorrow, yeah, man. Then. Let me call my boss so we can bail me up. Where I gotta work, man. What the wrong with y'all? Well, you're not gonna be able to go to work. Sit down. Y'all ain't got to be so critical. When you told me to lay down, I laid down, didn't I? Things would go much better for all of us if you would just cooperate. Well, talk to me. We did try to talk now, to Now, listen, you. all that's... Be See, truthful as that I That is the truth. truth. Truth is the truth. Right is right, wrong is wrong. This is that's wrong. That's profound insight. I cooperated. I'm struck. He was warned several times and he continued to escalate his behavior. 
He continued to be aggressive, banging on the glass, which puts him at a risk for his own injury. So we restrained him in the restraint chair. Do you have anything else on you? Any drugs or anything in your pockets? Nothing in your pockets? He's been quiet for quite some time now, and I'm just going to go in and let him know that I'm noticing that he's making some progress. I came over to check on you, and uh, you seem to be making some progress. Making pro I'm chained to a seat. How can I do anything else? I can't even move. Well, your demeanor has changed. I understand no. that you can't do anything physical, but you can create a commitment. Just let me out of here. No, you got you got this nasty attitude going on, and you're gonna have to be compliant, which means you gotta knock off the attitude. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Come to the edge of the chair. Lean up to the edge of the chair. God help. I am. Wait, wait, I want all right. to do is right there, let's get these handcuffs off, all right? I can't believe a man would go to treat a man like, ah! The purpose of the chair is to make them kind of refocus, gives them the opportunity to let their brain refocus and uh, to, to kind of think about where they are and what they're doing. Because once you can't move and you have to start thinking about the reason why you're there, you begin to do a little self-analysis self and you fix the behavior that's, uh, that's causing the problem. I work at Multnomah County Sheriff's Department in the jail. I believe uh, there's two different deputies, one that's more serious, and then there's me, who generally is a jokester and likes to have fun at work. Just makes the job a lot better and a lot more fun. Hey, partner. How you doing? Pretty good. Excellent. You been drinking? Whoa, whoa. Oh, Unfortunately, yes. A little bit too much, maybe? Yes. OK. Go and stand still for me so you don't fall down. OK. What did you come into jail for today? Because I drank too much. Uh, Hello. That's Isn't that obvious. Okay. Seems pretty apparent, yeah. Yeah. I need you to take your bracelet off. I can't. I need you to take your bracelet off or I'll take it off for you. That can't come off. Let's work on getting your bracelet off then. You know, honestly, that can't come off. That oh, is, yeah. It really that does. That is a genuine piece. We're going to keep it safe for you. Honestly, that is a genuine piece that can't come off. You just took it off. I was trying to be gentle. Oh, really? What is, what's so you your uh, poison tonight? What have you been drinking? Can you just remove the side cover? Have I been drinking rum? Rum? Why don't you turn around and face the counter for me? Okay. How much rum do you drink? Two shots. Mm -hmm. Two shots? Two shots. I'm a lightweight. Wow. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to get out of here. You know what? I think you need to go take a nap. A nap? Yes. Get Why your do fingers out so we don't hurt them. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You're forcing me. I can sue you. Go and put your fingers out. I can sue you. You want to put your fingers out? Me. And the military doesn't okay. want them forcing Come on there, Tiger. The military is not someone. This is where you get to go take a nap, okay? Go take a nap. When you're sober, we'll talk. <laughs> he's in isolation. Hopefully, take a nap and sober up. But he's upset now. He's mad at us. Come on down here. Good morning, officer. You suicidal? No, officer. You diabetic? No, officer. You got anything sharp on you? No, officer. Had a little bit of drink tonight? Yes, officer. Take off your jacket, set it on the counter. Thank you. Get back in the end of the mat, spread your feet wide. 
Keep your hands on the counter. Spread your feet wide. Four. I've, I've been cooperative, dude. Have I said you haven't? You gonna be bent over like a version on a prom day. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey, 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 hey. What? Okay, don't joke around. I'm done listening to your mouth. You understand me? Yes, officer. Have you been drinking? Oh, dude, I'm 22 years old. I can drink as much as I want. Really? How much you drink? Um, I I say five shots, a couple of beers. Five shots, a couple of beers. Well, within the legal toxicity limit. The what? Say that again twice. Legal. L E G A L O. Toxicity limit. Okay. It's just I have no reason to be pulled over. I was walking. Yeah, with a warrant. You which have I'm a warrant. Guilty. I wasn't driving. You're I was right. A, you weren't driving. I was walking Sorry. home drunk. You know what's gonna happen? What? I'm gonna go to jail, yeah. and y'all gonna and y'all gonna be in trouble. You're gonna do okay. Chris, this is everything that we took from you, okay? So just look that over, and then sign it at the bottom. Sign it for me. You'll get it all back when they release you, okay? You know what's that? You. Sign for you. GCS officer signing my name and, and without my no, that's not my yeah. name. That's not my name. Give out I wrote fingers. refuse there. So that's that's your not my yeah. name. Give out your fingers. My yeah. names are, my fingers are out. That's not my take signature. Your name isn't refused? My he signature. He put down refused. He didn't put down your signature well, because you don't have to sign it if you don't want to sign it. He did not sign that. I'll show that. you your receipt in a he, minute and you will see it. That. Let's go. Um, Let's go. I'm not, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. Just down there. I'm not eating. This is I'm called sober up. Come on. Is this where the cell warrior starts? Go take a nap. What? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Seriously, go take a nap. Oh, he's got that liquid courage going on there. We'll just let him uh, sober up there for a few hours, and when he wants to cooperate, we'll pull him on out and get him through the process. What's up? Hey, mister. You've done well. You ready? Come on over here. We're gonna go get your photo done. Feeling a little bit better? Not so drunk? Huh? All righty. Where was the party today? I don't remember. Was it, do you remember if it was a good party? Yes. What's his charges? What do you get? Sex abuse three. Is it really? Ooh. What? It appears that you were charged with a sex crime. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? A sex crime? What's this? Sex abuse three. I can see it. I don't know the victim. Let's go this way, talk to the nurse. Most likely, he was fondling somebody that didn't want to be touched. And being that he's so drunk, he probably doesn't even remember what he did. I've been a correctional officer for 18 years. I uh, supervise line staff as well as sergeants. We gotta be able to be strict, but at the same time human, with both staff and inmates. Inmates could be just like you or me, or they could be the worst of the worst. You keep your guard up at all times and treat them with respect as long as they're treating you with respect. As soon as they step out of line, you treat them accordingly. Go red, one, two. Go red, one, two. Fight, one, two. Bullpen front! Come on, come on, fight one, two. Go red, one, two. Slam shut. One person moves, I'm flipping his day room upside down. Come on, let's go. 
Both individuals were involved in a physical altercation. We don't know why yet. That'll uh, be revealed when we do the investigation. But right now, we want to take them to the medical department, have them cleared, just make sure they're not injured in any way. The wall. Got the reckless eyeball. You here. What's your side of the story? Quietly. You're a bully. He's a bully? So what'd you do to stop him? I told him I called him out. And you guys just fought? Yep. What's your side of the story without yelling? Somebody spilled the tray on the floor, right? I said without yelling, lower oh, your voice. Somebody spilled the tray on the floor, right. and it hit somebody. Right. So he tells me, why you picking on? He tell me I'm picking on the weak. Like, I ain't picking on the weak. So when I put my bubbles on, he just start welling off on me. I'm going to get witness statements from the rest of the day, and we'll see what they say, all right? Odds aren't in your favor that you're going to come out smelling like roses on this one, because you're in a fight every week. That's Face the wall, I don't want to hear them. Unfortunately, those two individuals are, are becoming a nuisance. They, they've been involved in several altercations over the last four or five weeks uh, in that same dormitory. So classification is really going to have to analyze the problem and, and see if one or two of those individuals can't go into another section of the facility. I want to talk about what am I going to do after 12 and a half years. What are you doing? Well, I'm being released finally right. after 12 and a half years. Nice, nice. Yeah. Out of here. 12 and a half. Maxed out on a 15 with a five. I've managed to mess it up. Fighting, went to the gang unit, shanking a lot of people. You keep doing what you always do, you always get what you always got. I'm tired of it. Came in, I was 21. I'm 33 today, and I'm just tired, man. What was your original charge? Original charge is armed robbery. I used to stick up drug dealers in North, but I'm from Patterson. I managed to get a 15 with a five sentence. I finally maxed out, and now I'm being released back into society. What are you going to do now? Seek employment. Well, during my incarceration, I've managed to get an art welding certificate and different trades, high school diploma, things I wouldn't get while I was in society. Unfortunately, I had to come to prison to get it, but I got it. Yeah. Well, apparently, you learned a valuable lesson. I'll check on your paperwork, all right? Yeah. He's about 45 minutes away from actually being released, and he states that he's going to better himself and do better on the streets, and uh, he learned his lesson. and. It's unfortunate that I've heard that several times over. This is it, the moment you've been waiting for. Yeah, fast forward. Yeah, yeah. You got a court date? Yeah, um, August 15th. Yep. It starts. The judge giving me enough time to seek employment. Right. <clears throat> I'm coming right back. <laughs> we got a complete program. Like go to NA, go to school, get your GED. So by the time you get to see parole, they'll give you a parole date and they'll release you on parole. Now, if you don't do none of that and you see parole, you'll make the mistake I made. They'll say that inmate that have not deterred criminal behavior. You'll get a 12 month hit and it says inmate likelihood to commit the same offense. Because you're not trying to make a change in your life. That's pretty much it, you'll be fine. Just stay to yourself. Don't hang out in little groups. That that attracts problems. So now you're maxed out or you're still on parole? No, I'm maxed out. No parole, no nothing. You're good. Yeah. It's me against the world now. That's it. But I, I do have tools. I thank God for that. Unfortunately, I had to learn the rough way. One thing I did realize, boys make excuses. Grown men make changes. I'm trying to live as a grown man and make changes. Stop making excuses. It's enough of that. I'm tired of that. Sounds good. Yeah, it do. <laughs> Talk is cheap, man. It sounds good, man, but I got to take action for it. How about I put your head off the wall? The bitch, like that. All right.
Alright, good luck, fellas. Alright, LT. Hey, sir. Not trying to jinx the guy. Hopefully he does what he says he's gonna do, but uh, the odds are against him, unfortunately. Maybe he'll be one of the few that makes it, so we'll see. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids, I don't want to be alone. 